Earlier this year, I did an extreme makeover on my own closet, and it was one of the best things I've done since we've moved into this house, as far as being able to keep things better organized. Um, the closets in this house just didn't have really any organization to them. They had some shelves and things like that, um, but it just, yeah, it needed some help. My husband, upon seeing the completed work, was like, hey, psst, would you do my closet as well? And so it's been on my list and I finally was able to tackle the project. So that is what today's video is. I'm going to take you guys through the makeover of my husband's closet. Um, I wanted to give him kind of a moody, manly closet, if you will. I really like how it turned out. I actually, um, put a lot more effort into his closet than I did my own, and now I have things I wanna go back and fix about my closet. But I like how it turned out, and the most important part is that he likes how it turned out. So this is only the beginning of the DIY kind of home projects and stuff we have going on around here. We have a lot more planned this year, so if you like seeing room makeovers or projects and DIY stuff, be sure to subscribe to my channel um, because there's a lot more where that came from coming your way. All right, try not to let the before image scar you for the rest of your life, but here we go. Let me show you what his closet looks like before. Oh boy, yeah. So as you can see, his closet basically became a catch-all. He keeps most of his clothes in the dresser in the bedroom and some in this black dresser that's in here, but for the most part, his closet just became a catch-all for anything and everything, honestly, <laughs> it was really bad. So I'm gonna begin by pounding a few sugar cookies, jacking myself up here, really getting myself in the mood to clean out. I don't know, cookies always help. So I'm gonna start by emptying everything out. Uh, it's the only place to start. Step one, remove all of the crap from the closet. I also did my best to kind of organize things as I was taking them out of the closet so that it didn't become a giant disaster in my room. You'll see that that plan didn't actually work, but I tried. So that's everything empty except for a safe and the dresser, which I have to move out. You can see there is some, you know, built-in shelving and stuff, but it was all very old and kind of just broken um, and not in good shape. So I removed some of it um, and left some of it, the upper shelf I left. And then this is the disaster in my bedroom from emptying out that closet. So, oh boy. All right, then I switched into my painting clothes and uh, kind of started deconstructing the closet. Like I said, some of that stuff was, I mean, whoever put it in there, they put it in there real good. So <laughs> I kind of ended up leaving uh, a little bit more than I necessarily intended to, but that's all right. When I placed the closet order, um, I really only had, you know, the system going in on the right wall and the back wall. So I just kind of started by sanding places where I'd taken out nails. Um, and then this wall was a little bit beat up from various things I had to remove. So I patched that and was letting that dry. Um, and then the next step, of course, is to paint. So I decided to do something a little bit different just so that it, I don't know, gave it a little something extra. So for the shelving that was already there, I used a chalk paint, uh, just a Rust-Oleum chalk, a black chalk paint um, on the shelving. So I figured it would kind of help it to pop and stand out from the walls, even though the walls are gonna be a dark color too. This is kind of a, you know, chalky matte black looking color for all of the, the shelving in the closet.
Now, once that was done, and you can see I did not worry too much about making it perfect because I knew the color I was using on the walls was so dark that it wasn't going to matter. Um, so I wasn't super careful with the, the trim there, but obviously now I'm going to be careful with the trim here. So this is, um, I cannot remember the name of this color. I will put it in the description box. I actually went to the store and asked for a different color, but the guy, when he looked it up, said couldn't find it, which didn't make any sense because it was a Sherwin-Williams color, but I wasn't going to fight him on it. So I just picked a different one. Um, and I, I like this one too. Um, and I think it probably in the end worked out better because this is definitely more of like a dark navy, whereas the other one was more of a gray black. And I'm not sure if there would have been much contrast between the shelving. And with the lighting, it may be hard for you to see the contrast between the shelving and the wall, but there's a little bit there. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like a very, very dark navy. And in the end, again, I kind of like that because it, you know, kind of goes with some of my husband's like college paraphernalia and stuff like that. Uh, the colors kind of all go. So I did the wall color and believe it or not, I only had to do one coat, which was amazing. Normally with dark colors, you have to do two coats, but I did not. So then I just grabbed my um, handy dandy can of my white paint that I used for my trim and came back and just painted the white trim again to make it look fresh and new. Again, I did not worry too much about the ceiling there and you'll see why, because I decided to put a wallpaper up on the ceiling. That was kind of part of the vibe I wanted in here um, is this wallpaper. It's kind of like a grass cloth, like a brown grass cloth feel wallpaper that I got from Target. I'll link it down below. Um, and I knew I wanted to replace the light fixture and put the wallpaper on the ceiling. Again, just going for that manly vibe. Next up, it's time to start hanging the closet system. So you can see there's a shelf that I'm kind of working underneath. Long story short, it just, I wasn't able to fit as many compartments on here once I installed the, the main top bar. So I didn't record this, but I ended up removing that black shelf and moving the bar up. So you won't necessarily see that happen, but you'll notice once the system is installed that is higher and that that shelf is no longer there so the alpha or you know i this the alpha is the only of the container store products that i've ever installed myself and i gotta say it is pretty darn user friendly um i'm i'm not great at following instructions and it's actually not that bad you can see where i patched the holes from the previous top bar so you basically hang a top bar and then you've got the vertical ones that you line up and then you just start installing the shelves drawers um, they have all kinds of uh, various things that you can install into this system uh, to make it functional for you. So I really like that. It allows me some flexibility. My whole closet is this system. So it worked, it worked really well. Um, and the right side of his closet is just a hanging bar. And then this wall, I just did drawers. Again, you're gonna see that I started by putting all the drawers on the bottom and then putting some shelving up top, but ultimately with assessing kind of what he needed to fit in here in terms of shoes and shirts and jeans and stuff like that, I ended up moving the drawers all the way up to the top and using the smaller ones for his hats and the deeper ones for his t-shirts. And then I was able to um, use the shelving for shoes and hang his jeans underneath. So that was the, the way that I was able to fit everything, but yeah. Then uh, he grabbed the camera real fast to try to film me hanging this wallpaper. <laughs> It actually wasn't that bad until I got to this spot. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, I think it was because he was filming, you know, the pressure. I had a little bit of a difficult time, but I used a shower squeegee to help me kind of line things up and then to um, press the wallpaper and smooth it out. And I really like how it turned out. Definitely not perfect. Um, I'm really terrible at wallpaper, but seeing as how it was on a ceiling, I just kind of, I, I went with it. Uh, then I began the arduous process of folding all of his 100 t-shirts. And, you know, just for the sake of making his closet look nice for him, I did put them into kind of a color order. I doubt they'll stay that way. I don't think he'll keep them that way, and I don't care. <laughs> but I just wanted it to look nice when the whole thing was done. Initially, I wanted this project to be a surprise for him, but I ended up needing his help too many times through the process that I was just like, forget about it. You can see it. Let's <laughs> it's not going to be a surprise. Um, <laughs> I need your manly help.
here's where we're at today. <laughs> Back to work again. So I've started sorting things and organizing things and doing this little shelf and everything. Uh, got some more hangers so that I put a hanging bar down there. So and I got some hangers to hang up his backpacks. Um, so more progress being made. I'm just going to keep keep sorting, keep organizing, and uh, hopefully hopefully get this done in the next day or so. I also got this um, dryer vent cover basically. I'm going to try to see if I can cut this down the middle and then wrap it around the cords that are exposed on this side. The It's like some of it I think is like plumbing and other electrical things but they're totally exposed so I'm going to try to cover it with this. We'll see if that works. like how this ended up turning out using this kind of dryer vent. I just used my, my big old pocket knife to um, cut it down the middle because I didn't have a, a pair of um, cutters that were uh, long enough to make this a, a decent process. So I just used a knife and then my gardening gloves so that I didn't cut my hands while I pulled it apart and then wrapped it around. And I really like how it turned out. It kind of just, again, gave it that like industrial vibe instead of seeing all those exposed cords. Now they're all protected. So here is the final result of his closet makeover. I really like how it turned out, and like I said, most importantly, he does. Um, so this is obviously not all of his belongings. He has a big dresser out um, in our bedroom area, and um, that's where he keeps long sleeves and you know some shorts and things like that. This turned out great for him to be able to keep his you know, sunglasses and belts and shoes and everything where he can see them um, and access them. His hats, that was the biggest thing that we needed something um, to organize all of his hats. And you know, he's a big t-shirt guy, wears t-shirts every day, all day. Um, so yeah, he really loves it. That's what matters. And um, it's very functional for him. And that's kind of you know, the most you can ask for. All right, so that is it, the grand reveal of Sierra's Closet Makeover. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, I've got a lot more projects coming up for the rest of the year, so be sure to subscribe. And uh, that's it, I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.